Welcome back to Houston Life. It's time now for our H-Town sit down. And we are so excited about today's guest. The classic film, A League of Their Own, is getting a reboot on Amazon Prime. And a Houston area actress is giving the project her blessing. Actress Megan Cavanaugh played Marla Hooch in the original iconic 1992 film. And today she's reminiscing with us on Houston Life. <laughs> Kavanaugh, come on out to Studio B. Welcome. Oh, it's so great to meet you. Thank you Courtney, yay. And one of our newest yay. Houstonians. We're so yes, glad to have you thank here. You so Please take much. a seat. It's so cool seeing some of these old photos from the film. 1992, 30 years ago. I know, tell me about it. <laughs> I mean, that was a minute ago, right? But to be part of such an iconic film, this is something that people, I'm sure, still come up to you and recognize oh, you and want to chat about. They do. I, I mean, when we're not wearing masks. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 become a very much an iconic film, and I think that it's for me it's sort of it's a wonderful life, re, you know. For me, that's the, the movie, the icon movie for me growing up was It's a Wonderful Life, yeah. and I feel like this has become sort of the It's a Wonderful Life for this new audience. It it, it brings us back, and I remember during the lockdown, this is one of those films that was replaying over and over again. We sat down with our kids, our boys watched it. I remember just bawling my eyes out, having a different experience watching it, you know, two years ago than right. I did originally because we laughed and you cried with you. But making that film, that role for you, I mean, you did all the batting, you play, I mean, that was, you were kind of like, that was your jam. It was my jam. I, I did all my own hitting and I really worked hard to do it. I, um, I had worked, we had, we had um, a lot of spring training with um, coaches from University of Chicago, uh, yeah, sorry, University of Southern California. I'm from Chicago, right. I'm, I'm thinking that. <laughs> Default. Right, and then we went to Illinois and we were at Illinois Institute of Technology and we had more spring training there. So by the time we actually shot anything, we were, I was doing 85 miles an hour on both sides and I learned to bat left-handed. Nice. So, I mean, I felt so capable. And then when we got to the set, Penny was like, all right, we're gonna use your double. I was like, Penny, <laughs> I've been working so hard. You have to let me try. All right, every ball. I was like, okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> wow, and this, is it true, this was your first film? This was my first film. I didn't have an agent. I got, wow. I, it was just so, everything fell into place so perfectly for me to be in this this movie it uh, it's remarkable it's really incredible and i know that you were able to go to the premiere for the reboot what was that like for you oh, gosh first of all i got to see the um, so i did the premiere in rockford and the one in la oh awesome they invited me to both of them and they let me um and we i moderated a talk back after the, the when we watched it in rockford and we had this discussion with the cast and crew and it was amazing um it is so good and i am i almost want to start crying it was it's so it takes it to another level it's not playing the characters that we played but there are homages yeah. to the movie like um i was watching i was like oh that set scene oh like I, there's so many things that you'll recognize that are like oh oh they did that in the movie like just her running to the train this scene right she's running to the train like that is so that's what when when we did the movie it was gina davis and laurie petty running to the train it's anyway it is such a great great um show and i i'm hope that it is hugely successful because it should be it's it's really good and it deals with different, you know, new yeah. perspectives, more 21st century perspectives. So it deals with racism and it deals with um, some homosexuality of the women that were players who who had to hide, like right. really hide, you know, 70, 80 years ago. Right. I, I can tell that you um, appreciate the way this is playing out. I mean, because a reboot could go one of two ways, right? right? And it sounds like they really took great care you know with this. They love the movie. I was fangirled by every single person <laughs> involved it. with this project. They, they are so passionate about telling it in a, in, in a, in a really um, beautiful way. And I, we felt that way about the players, the real players who played in the league. We, all we cared about was like making sure those ladies felt proud of us. Right. And that's how they are with, with, with us. And Gina just oh, was with them um, recently, and I know they fangirled her too. I mean, it, you know, they're just so excited to be part of this um, this project, and it's it's just great. It's so it, 
I can't, I can't say enough nice things about it. I can't wait to see the rest of it. And to have a new generation now appreciate it and, and to have that story continue, I think, yes. is what is so cool. And it's made so many girls play ball. Right. That's the best part. Girls I mean, can do it. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, you're a Chicago native. Yes. A ton of years in L.A., but now you call Houston area home. What brought you here? So I'm, I'm living with my parents, who are both 92. Um, they are wonderful, and I love living with them. And my sister and her husband live behind us, Aww, so we have sort of a, a compound. And um, and we, my my brother-in-law cooks for us every single night. So what time is dinner? We'll be over <laughs> six o'clock, and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Two more chairs, please. <laughs> Megan Kavanaugh, it's so great to meet you. Please come back and keep us updated. I would love to. I, when I have another, I have a project that I'm that I've been doing that I'm not allowed to talk about, but when I'm, when it's ready, I will tell you, and maybe I'll come back. And Please do. Guys. I would love that. Yes, <laughs> you are now a friend of the show. Absolutely. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, too. Thank you. Well, season one of League of Their Own is available to stream tomorrow. Mark it. Put an alert on Amazon Prime for more information. Just swing by the scene on section of our website, HoustonLife.tv.